If you can't kill a boss, no reason why you can't look like one. Moogle, putting the wow in transmogs. The shoulders. We always start off with the shoulders. Zealous Fell Slingers Epilence. These are difficult to pick up, but you can farm them pretty regularly, so it kind of all works out. Moving on, we're going to show you the chest, which is the Watcher's Jerkin from Vanilla Wow, of course. Stone Talon Mountains, to be more specific, Seldaria. That's a cool name. I guess that's rare. Kind of a fair drop rate to get that. You can buy it on the auction house as well. Strife Riddled Singe, Tumas Argaris Mythic, Maiden of Vigilance. About a 5% drop rate for that Warlock Belt from Legion. Leggings of the Refracted Mind, Ice Crown Citadel. Decent pickup, definitely worth the effort. Zealous Fell Slinger Boots, part of the same set as the shoulders and the head and a lot of stuff and the gloves. So this is predominantly this Zealous Fell Slinger uh, set out of Legion. So you're going to have to farm it, but it's kind of worth it. I mean, it looks really cool. Says Warlock to me. Frostguard Drapes, super easy pickup there. The headpiece. Once again, Zealous Fell, Slinger Visage, and Doran Wastes. And Doran. I'm thinking Star Trek, huh? And the tabard here, Green Trophy of the Illidari. Shadow Moon Valley, the BC version. It's Quest Reward, so that's probably one of the more easier pieces. Probably already have it. Bile Slinger Sensor. It's an offhand piece from High Mall Heroic. And last but not least, the dagger, which is the Dagger of Blazing Radiance. Black Rock Foundry is the place. Go with a gold and green theme here. The mantle of the Eridar Lord, Hellfire Citadel, Archimon, 13% on the drop rate for the shoulders, the tier shoulders from Warlords of Draenor. The chest, Heroes, Plague Heart Robe, Nax Ramus, Normal 10 Man, Gluth is the boss, 6% is the drop rate for the Wrath of the Lich King tier set. Moving on with a Lady Nightborn, the Belt, Demon Buckle, Sash of Argus, Hellfire Citadel, gee, that kind of predicts future X-Packs there, back in wide, 15% drop rate for the Belt. Moving on to the feet, Outlander's Boots, Hellfire Ramparts, which of course is a dungeon from Burning Crusade, various mobs, or you could just step up, buy those golden boots on the auction house. We have an undead dude who's going to show you the hands straight out of the Ice Crown. Basically, that's where you get it. Ebon Blade Quartermaster, they are an Ice Crown, bring a jacket, it's cold, 28 gold to buy. Of course, you're probably gonna need rep to get those gloves. Sergeant's Heavy Cape, Stormwind, this is Alliance only, you're gonna have to find a substitute if you hoard. Plenty of brown things to go around. Basically one mark of honor to get the coat, the cloak, <laughs> I believe. Demon Prince's Ascendant Crown, Hellfire Citadel, Archimon. So the shoulders, gloves, and, I'm sorry, the shoulders, belt, and head all drop from that same raid and boss, by the way. Siege of Ogamar, LFR for the weapon. 17% drop rate. Yeah, purple always works for warlocks, especially undead warlocks. Now, this um, particular set is a bit of a conundrum for me because I have a horde-only headpiece and an alliance-only belt. So if you're a horde or alliance, you're gonna have to do a little bit of creativity uh, depending on your faction for the head or the belt. But the rest of this really works pretty well. I think the head would be a lot easier to replace. A lot of people hide that. But that belt is certainly uh, something that really works with this set. The Tyrannical Gladiators Court of Accuracy Mop PVP Vendor. One mark of honor. That's, of course, the alliance side belt. The horde side belt's a bit reddish. Moving on to the back, which is the Dreadful Gladiator's Cape of Cruelty. It's purple cape, and it works really well with this. You'll see it in a second, I do believe. Just one mark of honor to pick that up. Super easy pickup. Moving on to Avoid Elf Dude and the Feet Arcane Boots. You could also go with Nether Wave Boots. Nether Wave, Nether Weave Boots. Those are crafted. There's, a, there's, the, there's the cloak, you see. Arcane Boots you could buy in the auction house as well, so that's an easy pickup. The Gloves of Abhorrent Strategies, the Burning Throne Heroic, various mobs, or you could buy those on the auction house. Definitely really cool looking for any cloth wearer. And the head, uh, Goldan Hood of Triumph, Ice Crown, uh, Triumphant Armor Vendor, 160 gold to pick up that headpiece. Like I said, that's Horde only. I know it's a bit of a conundrum, so I made a boo-boo here, but I'm sure you guys will forgive me because you 
great. Uh, Baleful Spire, this is basically a pickup from Gondor. This is a very warlock looking set. I have to say the brown, the lightish gray, and the green. Uh, Death Rattled Shoulders, Hellfire Citadel Mythic. Uh, Zularok, I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> Robes of the Unraveler, Uldir LFR, Mithrax the Unraveler. Of course, it's his robe, so basically take it after you take him down. Decent drop rate on that uh, robe. <laughs> Strife Riddled Cinch. Uh, Jim Sargeras Mythic, Maiden of Vigilance, kind of a fair drop rate to pick up that Warrior Tier belt. From, of course, Legion, moving on to the back, which is the Desert Nomads Wrap, Voldoon, uh, Doom Gorger, Krulak, kind of a low drop rate to pick that up, but worth the effort. Uh, moving on to the feet, Linen Boots, fit on level tailoring check a local tailor check a local auction house super easy get on the boots so you're getting away something look at this cloak this cloak goes so perfect with this set uh the hands are fire coolers hand wraps battle of dazzle of har uh lfr as you can see the boss and a fair drop rate for the hands you could also go with the gray ones if you have those moving on to the head zealous fell slinger's visage and dorn once again, thinking Star Trek, very much looking forward to Strange New Worlds, which is uh, the Star Trek series upcoming with Captain Christopher Pike. Uh, Bite of the Bleeding Hollow, Hellfire Citadel, Mythic, Kill Rock Dead Eye, pretty good drop rate for the cool looking staff. So the shoulders are straight out of Ulduar, uh, soot covered mantle. Ignis the Furnace Master, 14% on the drop rate. We're also going to pull the gloves out of Ulduar as well. Moving on to the shirt, which is straight from Silver Pine Forest, Fenwick Tatros, or you can buy it on the auction house. It's called Simple Blouse. Any kind of red thing will do, though. Because it's covered behind a tabard. That's if you hoard. If you're Alliance, no. Not sure why this is the case, but Alliance stuff sometimes shows on horde sometimes it doesn't on the add-on i use Mogget here horde stuff doesn't show on alliance it's all confusing there's no method to it sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't bottom line uh the tabard is horde only uh so we're gonna move on to the dark iron dwarf showing the guardians dreadweave stalkers netherstorm bc pvp vendor two whole marks of honor for the bc boots and the hands are from Ulduar, not Uldor. There is no such thing as Uldor in World of Warcraft. The back Gilded Thorian Cloak, Karazhan BC version, Terrestrian Ilhoof. So now we're gonna move on to the Tabard, which we talked about, the Tabard of the Dragon Ball Clan, Twilight Highlands, Dragon Ball Clan Quartermaster, Gold and Rep to pick that up. Nats Drinking Hat comes from your garrison, Master Fisherman, 50 Nats Lucky Coins. And the weapon, Netherlord's Staff of Summoning Warlock Order Hall from the Quartermaster. I did put together this set once before. I made a couple of changes, call it an upgrade. Uh, Soul, Siphon Mantle, the Burning Throne Mythic, Shadig, 8% on the drop rate. I do think it's a good idea to maybe have one base set that you can make a change with three or four, or two or four different pieces. I think it works out pretty well because then you don't have to spend all that gold to change all the pieces and you could maybe change one or two pieces here and there and you kind of have a whole new look and I like that. I don't know if you guys, let me know if you agree. Uh, anyway, Strife Riddled Cinch, Tomb of Sargeras, LFR, Maiden of Vigilance, the Legs, Ferocious Combatant, Silk Trousers should point out this is Alliance only, Legion PvP Vendor, Marks of Honor. Maybe you could buy individual pieces in the future, but currently you got to buy the whole set. The feet, uh, Silent Flame Sandals, Throne of Thunder LFR. It's uh, basically Throne of Thunder LFR for the uh, feet and the gloves. I want to ask you guys, and maybe you could leave it in the comments, if you would like me to do a transmog video where you have one kind of baseline set that you could swap out a few different pieces and essentially turn one set into three. Let me know if you'd be in a present into a presentation like that. Uh, as you can see, the headpiece BC level engineering 
And the shirt is the gray woolen shirt, vanilla level tailoring, super easy to pick up. Not a difficult pickup there at all. A lot of this isn't particularly difficult. Uh, Infernal Flame Staff, Black Rock Foundry, Gruel 22% to get the staff. My name is Luxley. I want to thank everybody for dropping by and leave you with this final thought. Whatever it is by you, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, make it epic. <laughs>